Hey, welcome to today's show. Today we're uh, going to build an urn. My father passed away on Friday and I've been tasked to build the urn. So together, my brother and I are going to build this urn and I'm going to walk you through the process. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It's something you'll be tasked to do one day. You should take it seriously. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, so here are some of the materials. This is ash. I pre-cut some of them. This is the lid. This is a piece I've mitered for the corners. To save some time, I pre-cut this. So we're going to run these pieces we looked at before through the planer. My brother and I are going to whip this up. So we're going to Clean them all down to the thickness we want, and we'll look at them later. So I'm just gonna make it square. I'm gonna cut them. Are they all the same cut first? Like this at six. Oh, you know what we'll do? We should just cut both of them the same. Same time. So let's cut this and then you can go. Oh. So you can see what we did here is we measured eight inches from the blade to this piece. And we clamped this board on there, clamped this board to there. So by the time this board hits the blade, it won't be jamming on this board. And it'll be exactly right, both of them. We put two on one side. It's a good way to make sure they're exactly right. You can see I clamped the long side here and so because the short sides there and we're just going to cut that a few inches off and then we have 8 by 12 exactly what we want. So here is a piece I made for the edges. I dated them before and now we're going to cut them five and a quarter so they're a quarter inch longer than the whole thing. See we use the same method. We put a block here and kept our square and now we're just going to lay them in like that and cut them. So here we're going to work on the top. Put these two pieces of ash together, run them through the planer you saw before. And I'm going to cut them on my sled here. And I'm going to cut them just a quarter inch bigger than the box. It sits over a little bit. And we'll do that now. All right, you can see here I put my dado blade in and I have a bracket for that. Now we're just going to give it a test and call her good. There you can see I put a board right to the bottom so that the metal doesn't hit the blade because I want this gap right to be at the very bottom. So we're going to glue the ends. We're just going to put some glue along here, glue them in. We'll do the, each piece, the ends, and then we'll glue in the sides. Okay, I glued the ends here. Now I'm going to glue the sides, glue it all together. Okay, so here it is. We're just going to glue these end sides in, clamp it, square it up. Okay, I've glued these together. I've checked the inside to make sure it's square always. Alright. There, we'll just let that sit. So I cut the bottom now. Just, just draw up the grooves. I have to make grooves for the the legs. There, I'll cut those legs and show you how it goes. Alright, I have it set up in the 
my vise. I'm going to cut the grooves for the posts. Okay, there you see it fits right in there. I'll pre gel some holes so that it stays. We'll move on to the top. Okay, so I'm going to put these blocks in here so they can have more support. Of course, I wasn't organized enough to do them before, so I'm going to drill them like this. But I'm just going to clamp them in place and drill them. We're just going to pre-drill them. So that's in the right place, flush like that. So you can see I've got these on here now. I'm going to put the lid on. Use my little caliper to make sure it's the same always. We'll glue it and screw it from the bottom. We'll see how that works. There it is. It's approximately 12 inches long, 8 inches wide, 6 inches high. This is ash from uh, Manitoba ash. And these corners are quarter sawn oak. To me, this is a good representation of my dad. My dad wasn't flashy or flamboyant, but his heart was always in the right place. And so this is my, my legacy to him. Love you, Dad.